So you want to actually know how does the Apollo.ao works. So this is an amazing application that can be helping us to make some project management, marketing, and so much more. So with that being said, guys, let's get started. If you don't have an account, I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description so you can sign up totally for free. And uh, it's gonna be appearing something like this. You will want to sign up with your Google account, with your Microsoft account, whatever option you want to do. So it'll be just really easy. In my case, what I just need to do is to provide a Microsoft account because I want to choose a Microsoft account. So in here, I'm gonna hit into the next mark. And there we go. Lastly, I just need to grant the access. I need to read all of this, hit into the yes mark. And once I clicked in there, I'm now inside Apollo. So I'm gonna be redirected into the very first part of the Apollo. Depending on what you're looking for, you want to set it up your goals, your success, depending on what I do want to be working on. So if I go into the setup for success, it's gonna be asking me for find your first lead, start your search, uh, save the first lead, engage with your lead, and uh, you want to link your mailbox, in my case I've already been through that, uh, to lead to the sequence and activate some sequence. So if I go into the very first part, I want to create my very first sequence of creating, let's say, some videos for marketing. So I'm going to hit into I will comply, and here you want to create a new sequence from scratch. Or what you can do if you don't know how to actually get started, I can strongly suggest you to use a template. Now a template is gonna be helping us a lot to depending on what you are looking for. So I'm gonna hit into create and customize like that. And here as you can see here is my Apollo already being created. So we're gonna hit into continue on board. Welcome to Apollo. And here I'm gonna start with my search. So I want to hit into the X mark. I want to focus a lot in here. I'm going to hit into the X mark once again. And here, as you can see, we do have the home page, the search, the engage, and the enriched. So, depending on what you're looking for, it's going to be helping us a lot to actually do this. Now, in speaking about the marketing tools, what you can do is to actually uh, download out a CSV file. You can import that in here so you can see, like, uh, some resources, some data, speaking about uh, campaigns that you created or whatever you are looking for. So in my case, I want to look for the home page. I want to go into people and here to list what you can do is to add, let's say your own brand, your team of workers, whatever you want to do. Now speaking about the option that says job titles, you can add new personas and you can uh, customize the level of the management if this one is an owner a partner the head the manager the entry the intent and here's the department of the actual workers speaking about the company you don't have to be worrying about this a lot because we already have this one available so speaking about the location employees and the interesting keywords is for the actually the same status now speaking about the email status here this one is going to be like helping us if the business email status has been verified, guessed, or there's no uh, available information about that. So here, all these new options that are using to the latest part are only for a different plan. Uh, so that's speaking about the revenue, the funding, the job hosting. You need to have a basic account in order to see that. So if you want to check it out, the pricings, the plans, um, you can click in here. And as you can see here, are all the elements that we can implement into our actual uh, into our actual workspace. So I don't want to focus a lot in that. I want to go back here, and here is the engaged part. So as I just told you, we were just creating our very first engagement uh, sequence. Here is the targeting low adapters. So here, as you can see, we do have the automatic email on day number one. We have the A/B test of different types of messaging here. So I can click here and I can try to customize the type of the thread. For example, this is a new thread, help with product training. Hi, first name, let's say I want to go for Steven. I hope this email finds you well and notice you haven't saved full advantage of. And here you want to choose your product. Let's say the free trial or the, I have previously worked with similar professionals in your space. You have 30 minutes to meet me next week. Thanks, Steven. 
there we go and you can save this changes and this is how it's going to be looking the mail that you're going to be sending into your implementations so you can get into saved template and this is the automatic email of day number one now day number two you can change this one the the deliver email if no reply in three days i'm going to get into edit and i want to change that into let's say seven days or six days there we go if you don't want to see that you can just use another option but in my case i'm going to leave it like that and here free 14 day trial mode and you want to edit your stuff here so this house is going to be helping us a lot to customize our automatic emails it's going to be sent independently of course into if the delivery email did not reply in let's say three days uh five days that we did before and so on and on now speaking about the prospect research if i choose the prospect research of in here it's going to be appearing uh, research of the pending on what you're looking for so let's say for example that we want to look for people here um, in the company the quick actions the contact locations I'm gonna scroll a little bit down and look for something a little bit more accessible for example Canva now in Canva we have the chief evangelist and here's the guy Kawasaki so here is the and uh, linked in so here's the access email and here are the number of employees the industry and the keywords so when you get into access email uh and agree to terms of service and continue onboarding i'm gonna go a little bit back because i didn't meant to actually click in them and do exactly the same thing going to look for canva and hit into the access email and there we go so here as you can see it says um this is the mail, this is the phone number, this is a to list list, and this is the sequence that you want to create. Let's say I want to add this into the sequence that I just created. And here you select the latest one, for example, this one. Like that. You want to just enable this. And there we go. Now with that being said, the last part that you want to just take in mind is to try to enrich your HubSpot. Now, uh, speaking about this, uh, it's going to be helping us a lot with this our CM are um, out to date with automatically enrichment and we can find some instant data so i can try these new features and i can connect some salesforce or some hubspot depending where uh, you are actually making some administrations or you can try to use some other tools like for example the meta uh, business suit of facebook uh, the api researches of enrichment and click into the get started so there we go. Now, with that being said, you can just um, freely make use of this great application development for yourself. And we free really reach into the very end of the video. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to see more tools for the Apollo, this is like the most basic, common, easy way to get started with the app of Apollo. So thank you once again, guys, for watching the video. Uh, redeemed you $50 if you want to do that and you make usage of your very first elite CTR and well now you're actually good to go. I'll see you guys on the next video